So I got this multi-function battery meter. I mean, it looks looks pretty good. It's gonna show volts, amps, watts, and watt hours. And this is it. Here's the wiring diagram they give you. I mean, it's pretty simple as this has a built-in shunt. So you, you basically splice your your negative black wire through this shunt in the back. So you, you know this would be a continuous wire as it is. You split it, you go to these two sides, and then this would be your trolling motor. Here's the battery, and if you need an additional battery to power this unit you need an additional power supply but since we're testing a 12 volt battery this works without needing uh, additional power so just to uh, just to show you I'm going to test it out that it works So right now we're getting 12, about 12.6, 12.6 volts. And obviously there's no amp, amps, watts, or watt hours because we don't have it attached to any load. We have to splice this black wire, put one side to one end, one side to the other, and then that's it. And then connect these to, to the, uh, battery source and then my battery box is upgraded so I'm gonna try to put this here you know somewhere on the side and that's it I'm gonna put it on this side because this is the closest to where my black wire is so I can just directly go right there and then have the most slack so I can you know still do this so I think it's gonna work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Screw it onto the drill like I'm doing here. I'm gonna go try this one. Let me no, try this it. one's the best one. I like this one. Okay. How do you use this? Now, got to cut across. Let's see how it fits before we cut any more. Just gotta cut a little more. I think that might do it. Yeah, it's a good fit too. Kind 
kind of kind of touching that probably don't want it that close I just I just don't want it to jump you know because it's the black and the red wire is just gonna be a little too close I'm gonna try and move move this down yeah gonna have to tighten that bolt it's gonna move this to there get it like that all right now I'll go back to trying to split this black wire here and then put the yellow one here, right there just gonna measure it to be right around there just gonna go like that and then this one it's possible to see this arrow showing this it's possible that if I have the current coming back this way it'll show a negative not I'm not sure don't think it matters but if it does I'll just just flip the uh, this device first so let me put the other So now we're just going to hook those two up. That was tight. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Alright, I don't even know if you're really supposed to do this, but I'm going to try it anyway. turning these o-rings into uh you know like u u rings i'm sure it's not what you're supposed to do but i don't think it's going to matter too much Pretty good. I think it might work. So now, this is the power, this is to the battery to test the voltage and get the power. So I'm just going to fold this down, put this through, Let's see if all the blue, I really need like the even smaller one, this is really tiny. Good. 
the other one. Okay. So we have these two. The black will go here. And the red one will go here. All right, tighten this down. And look, I already got voltage going. Pretty tight. So we are good. And there you have it. Well, let's just check one more time. Let's do the wiring diagram here. So here's the unit. Get power and testing voltage by putting this red wire here, small black wire here. To the black and red terminals then we spliced this return negative black wire and hooked it up to the shunt you know one side here one side there so the current goes through it and it will test the amperage and that's it now we just gotta see you just gotta hook it up to the load which is gonna come out through here and once we put some load through it, we should get the rest of these values. So here's my trolling motor. Just, you know, make sure it's off. So it's off. Now, I don't really want to do this for very long without... I mean, number one, I'm not going to really get accurate readings with this thing not in the water. You know, there's no resistance, no water resistance to the prop. It's really not going to give an accurate reading. And even in a bucket of water, still I don't think that's a true reading. So I'm going to have to do this when I get out on the water next time. But just to make sure that we're going to get values here. Let's test it out. All right. I'm drawing 1.6 amps, 20 watts, and no watt hours. And you see the voltage drop from like 13 down to 12.7. And I'm seeing negative, so I do think I connected it reverse. But I don't think it matters to me really. So now, you know, I just, I think it's the same amount of current if it goes negative or positive. I don't think it affects it. So yeah, it works. It really isn't a lot of amp draw when it's not in the water. So now we see it's like 1.5 and it even went up to uh, like 1.8 when it was on high. So, I mean, that's nothing. That's really not much. I'll probably put some silicone here around here just to Get a little bit better waterproof but the only thing is now when I go to charge it I don't have a charger through here 
so you won't see the amperage going the other way. But that's all right. I just really wanted to see how much I was pulling. You know, I, I was at around like 1.5 amps drawing. Now, the conversion to watts is just multiplying these two numbers. So that's why you were seeing this at like 18, 20. So that's just 12.8, 12.7 times 1.5, and you get around like 18, 20. So that's just watts. And then after a certain amount of time, after, you know, I drew power from this thing, for I don't know how long it does until it calculates it, but then it would convert it into a watt hour. But these are all interchangeable by simple math. You can just, you know, if you know you have a 35 amp hour battery, which this is, you can know and you're drawing like 1.5 amps, then you could go for, you know, a decent amount of time, but, you know, go in reverse. I can take my watt hours and divide the volts, and that will just, uh, just give me the amp hours so it's all interchangeable you know yeah would it be nice to have like a little battery meter or something but that's all it all that's all those battery meters are doing is just basing these simple calculations on it so all right that's it can't wait to uh try this out actually on the water